here is Bucky's uh, gas station here in Daytona. Yeah. Um, it is a huge gas station. It has 104 uh, gas pumps. It might be one of the bigger gas stations in Florida. <laughs> yes, this is probably the biggest one in Florida. Um, actually, Florida has two of them in St. Augustine's and Daytona. We're yeah. in the Daytona one right now. Uh, this one, I think, is 50,000 square feet. <laughs> yeah. um, and supposedly, they have the cleanest bathrooms in the world. They also have the biggest car wash. And it's pretty packed, too, so it must be mobbed inside. Let's go check it out. All right, let's go. <laughs> This place is swamped, so you can tell how popular of a destination it really is. When they say they have the cleanest bathrooms, they mean they have the cleanest bathrooms. Those things you probably could have eaten all of them. Her and the boys were extremely impressed. It's definitely not your ordinary gas station experience. Got myself a cherry lime, baby. Yum, yum. <laughs> Is that an experience? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fun. But it's just a lot of it's just Bucky merchandise. So. Yeah. But I mean, you could even get grills. Yeah, you want to buy a grill? Yeah. <laughs> so we know we have this on our free list. Um, the thing is, nothing in there is free, but it's free to come and window shop. Okay, hey guys, so we're at the Daytona Flea Market and Farmer's Market here. Supposedly, it was voted top five market in the country and sixth in the world. So that sounds pretty impressive, don't you think? Yeah, <laughs> so not only is it a flea market, but it's a farmer's market as well. It says it was open in 1981. The market is open Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, and nine to five, so. But uh, it's free to come in, so that's why it's on our free list. You don't have to buy anything. You can just wander and, and just look around. Like a traditional flea market. Yep, so let's check it out. All right. So this place actually has 1,000 booths and it gets 2.5 million visitors a year. buy golf carts here. Ooh. Look at all that. Yeah. For your new look, Michael. Ooh, yeah. Would you like to be a blonde? Oh, I've always wondered. Actually, I think I'd go with the blue. The blue, yeah. You look behind you. In case you want to be Freddy Cougar. Did you have fun? Yeah, 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 definitely worth a check. You know, I mean, if you're into flea markets and stuff, it's what you would typically find. It was huge. Yeah, yeah, it was. And we didn't was even good. walk the whole thing. Right. Oh, so on our free list, we have the Delonton Sugar Mill Gardens. It's supposed to be free, but they um, they ask for a donation, if you can, of $4, but you don't have to. It's open every day, 8 to 5. Um, they ask that you do not bring any food in, there's no bicycling, and that you do not touch the historical stuff because if it's destroyed, that's it, it's gone. So let's go check it out and see what this place is all about. Dinosaurs, this way. I wonder what they actually need. Are you gonna have dinosaurs on your dinosaur truck? <laughs> As I'm walking past this area, I'm getting a real like green pepper type smell. Oh, it smells so good. We found another dinosaur gauge. Which one is this one? This one is a tracer. But 
What do you guys think? Want to live in a gnome home? Yeah. yeah. Looks like someone couldn't escape the dinosaurs. So this building here is the old sugar mill. Looks like a lot of the processing was done here. All right, so I think that's gonna conclude our tour here. This was a free item to do. Like we said, uh, if you can, donate to the park to keep it running, but uh, it's free, if not. Yeah, it's close to five, so uh, we gotta skedaddle. Yeah, so pretty cool. on to the next one. So we're at Angel and Phelps. Um, it is a chocolate factory uh, located in Daytona. Um, it's another one of the free things that you can do. You don't have to buy anything. You can come and look. Uh, during COVID time or non-COVID times, they do chocolate tours. As of right now, you're just doing self tours, but uh, they do give free samples too, so you can try something out. The, uh, it all looks really delicious here, and it actually smells really good. So if you have a few minutes, and you want to come check out a chocolate factory. This would be a good place to to stop by. It's like kids in candy stores. Yeah, it's like really Wonka in a chocolate factory. Oh, they got little pralines. And I have a book. Oh, you bacon lovers. Let's see how the chocolate's made. Yeah. So it looks like we got a big vat of caramel, yeah, cherries, maraschino cherries, maraschinos, and then they got the pecans in the back. I got samples. All right. <laughs> Chips are our number one seller. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was glad. So it looks like they make treats yeah, for your dogs too. Party. They've been actually uh, crafting chocolate since 1925, so they've been in this area for almost 100 years now. Once you're done with your sweet tooth, you got a dentist's office. Get yourself fixed right up. As we were walking, um, we were talking about things that you can do in free for free, and as we were walking, we walked past this Daytona Magic, so we thought we'd go inside and check it out. Any car, you're not even picking it. So when you're drawing back a table, oh, he made me pick that. So free choices in your mind. What car do you want to be upside down in that pack? King of Hearts. Okay, name another one. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this one here is a 30 second learning time. Uh, And you take three and give your mom three. Just take them all out. Don't leave any behind. There you go. Just give. No, no. Just take. Oh, oh you made them all into that. one. <laughs> what? The? Wow. Wait. Wow. The owners are really nice. Uh, we ended up buying something for Nikolai, but uh, you can walk around and he'll show you different magic tricks and stuff like that. It's really fun and uh, you know, it gets your imagination going. So if you're here and you just wanna go inside and take a look, take a look, you might find something that actually interests you though. Hey everyone, so on our next stop of free stuff to do, uh, the casements. It's this beautiful house here that was purchased by John D. Rockefeller in 1918. Um, he, this was his winter home and he lived here during the winters until his 97th birthday when he died. So let's go check it out. So one thing about this place, it's actually located in Ormond Beach. Yeah. 
This is the dining room. So, but now they use it as a place to store art. Apparently, this is where John would bust a move, according to Gage. <laughs> Apparently, at one point, the casement had to be re rebuilt. Because, yeah. as you can see here, like oh, yeah, the wood like is rotting. Unfortunately, this is where the tour ends because downstairs you have to ask to take a not a self guided tour, but an actual scheduled tour. So out here is the courtyard in front of the Rockefeller house. Looks pretty nice, nice open area. Well, that's gonna conclude our tour of the casements or uh -huh. John D. Rockefeller's house. This is nice. Looks like if you're camping, you can buy firewood. We just finished lunch and we're just enjoying our beer. And it is so peaceful out here. Very, very quiet. Let's go get our hike on. Says it's a mile, so it shouldn't be too bad. And it's all covered for us. <sighs> oh, watch out for the ants. It's an ant pile. Oh, Mike's gonna go for the Instagram pose. Check our Instagram out if you want to see how that turned out. We turned the corner and look what we found. A turtle. So that's gonna wrap up our look at Tomoka State Park. So we actually forgot one last thing, and probably the most important thing. The beach! Yes, this would be the freest thing to do here. Yes. And Aside from maybe if you have to find a parking spot and you're already staying here, you probably already have some uh, rain Yeah. And it's beautiful. Look how beautiful it is. Yep. <laughs> okay. So let's go! Okay, so that's gonna conclude this free video, uh, this video on all the free stuff you can do in Daytona, Daytona Beach and the Ormond, Ormond area. Yeah, Ormond Beach area. Um, we probably missed some stuff. Uh, we tried our best to come up with what we could see that was for free, mm -hmm. that was in our area where we're staying. So yeah, there are a lot of free things to do. Yeah. So we should have covered some of it. But we didn't we didn't spend too much money on this trip. I think. Most of it's been souvenirs like chocolate and stuff. Yeah, yeah, little silly things that you don't have to buy. Yeah, you don't have to buy anything if you don't want to. <laughs> if you guys like this video, hit the like and subscribe button below. It really helps our channel. 
or leave a comment um, uh, yeah. possibly on any one of these places that we had visited about your experience there or if there's a couple places maybe that we missed that you'd like to let to maybe yeah. come back and see because we will be back yeah because I mean we did a lot of internet research but you, you never find everything when you're doing internet research so yeah keep exploring and we'll see you on the next one